By the 11th and 12th centuries, humanity stood firmly in the heart of the Middle Ages. Across Europe, towering stone castles and cathedrals pierced the sky, symbols of rising kingdoms, religious fervor, and feudal order. Trade routes expanded, linking continents through silk, spice, and steel, while the Crusades ignited waves of conquest and cultural exchange. Agricultural innovations like the heavy plow and three-field system allowed populations to grow, pressing deeper into forests, wetlands, and wild places. In parallel, the great predators of the land began vanishing from newly cultivated landscapes. Entire ecosystems were reshaped, not by malice, but by the slow grind of expansion and belief in dominion over nature. On distant islands, newly arrived humans, along with fire and livestock, brought about the quiet extinction of giant birds. As castles rose, so too did the silence beyond their walls. The Adzebils were large, flightless birds from New Zealand, measuring about 80 centimeters in length and weighing up to 18 kilograms with powerful legs and a distinctive downward curving bill. They had extremely reduced wings, even smaller in proportion than those of the dodo, and were incapable of flight. Fossils suggest they inhabited dry, lowland regions and were likely omnivores, feeding on large invertebrates, reptiles, and possibly small birds. Stable isotope analysis indicates they occupied a higher trophic level than insectivores, supporting the idea of a varied, meat-including diet. Though not as widespread as moa, adzebils were heavily hunted by the Mari, and their extinction was likely hastened by introduced predators, like rats and dogs, disappearing before European contact. Henderson archaic pigeon was a large pigeon species from Henderson Island, larger than the other native pigeons and likely a weak flyer due to its relatively small wings. Its remains, discovered in early Polynesian middens, suggest it coexisted with humans shortly after their arrival around 1,050 years. The species' closest living relatives may include the Nicobar pigeon, linking it distantly to the dodo. Bounty faps went extinct soon after human colonization, along with most of the island's other bird species. When Polynesian voyagers settled Henderson Island, they encountered large ground-nesting pigeons such as Henderson, archaic pigeon already seen, but also the Henderson imperial pigeon and the Henderson ground dove, whose weak flight and tameness made them easy targets. Sustained hunting for food rapidly reduced the birds' already small island populations, while forest clearances for gardens and camps disrupted their feeding and nesting habitat. At the same time, stowaway Pacific rats, and possibly pigs, ate eggs and chicks, preventing the pigeons from recruiting new generations. The combined pressures of overexploitation, habitat alteration, and introduced predators eliminated both species and most of Henderson's other endemic birds within only a few centuries of human arrival. Nesophontids were an extinct group of small, shrew-like mammals closely related to selenodons, both descending from a unique lineage of placental mammals that split over 70 million years ago. These venomous insectivores lived across several Caribbean islands, Subfossil remains, often found in owl pellets and dating to less than 12,000 years ago, have yielded ancient DNA, confirming their close relationship to solenodons, though their earlier evolutionary history remains largely unknown. The largest species, Puerto Rican Nesophontes, lived in Puerto Rico, possibly benefiting from the absence of solenodons in those regions. They appear to have survived until about 1,000 years ago, but were rapidly driven to extinction by invasive species, deforestation, and human colonization. 
Cape Verde quail was an extinct quail species, likely belonging to the same genus as modern Old World quails. It was a small, ground-dwelling bird with reduced flight capabilities, adapted to the island's environment with likely cryptic plumage for camouflage. Its biology suggests a terrestrial lifestyle, feeding on seeds and invertebrates in open habitats. The lava shearwater is an extinct species of shearwater that bred in the Canary Islands. It is known from fossil remains and was only described in 1990. The remains of the species are particularly common in lava fields. The species is thought to have survived the arrival of the first settlers and become extinct after the arrival of European settlers in the 11th century. It is suspected that the species became extinct due to hunting pressures and possibly the arrival of introduced species. Madagascar was once home to the giant elephant birds, some of the largest birds to ever live. Despite their proximity to Africa, these flightless retites were most closely related to New Zealand's kiwis, likely descending from flying ancestors that crossed the Indian Ocean. Epiornis maximus was the largest species, standing three meters tall and weighing over 500 kilograms, with eggs measuring over a meter in circumference. Brain studies suggest it had poor eyesight and was probably nocturnal, relying on a strong sense of smell like modern kiwis. Multiple elephant bird species existed across Madagascar, showing a range of adaptations. Some coexisted with humans for centuries, as radiocarbon dating of eggshells indicates survival until at least 1,000 years. Historical accounts imply they may have persisted until the 1,200 years. Their extinction was likely driven by human activity, including hunting and habitat destruction. The Nene Nui evolved from the migratory Canada goose, adapting to the tropical environment of Hawaii by gradually losing its flight ability, with evidence showing individuals ranged from weak flyers to fully flightless. This species was about 5% larger than the modern Nene and had shorter wing bones, but likely shared similar plumage and physical features. Like many Pacific Island birds, it became extinct shortly after human arrival during the Holocene. Archaeolomer likely went extinct due to a combination of human activities following the colonization of Madagascar, including hunting and widespread habitat modification. Its large body size, frugivorous diet, and terrestrial lifestyle made it particularly vulnerable to both direct predation and the effects of habitat fragmentation. Like many modern species with limited mobility and small home ranges, Archaeolomer would have struggled to adapt to rapidly changing environments. These ecological traits, combined with increased human pressure, likely drove the genus toward extinction. The Maui Nui large-billed Moanalo was a large, flightless duck species originally described in 1976 from subfossil remains found on Molokai and Maui. It was endemic to the prehistoric island of Maui Nui and likely inhabited the lowland regions, while a smaller related species, the small-billed Moanalo, lived in upland areas above 1,100 meters. Fossils have been discovered in locations such as the Mumomi Dunes and lava tubes. This species was larger than its closest known relative, the Oahu Moanalo. Its discovery highlights the diversity of unique, now extinct waterfowl that once populated the Hawaiian Islands. Maui stilt owl was a large, long-legged, flightless, or nearly flightless owl endemic to the Hawaiian island of Maui. It belonged to the genus Grelistrix, a group of extinct insular owls that evolved from North American ancestors and adapted to terrestrial predation, likely preying on small birds like honey creepers. Its long legs and reduced wings indicated hunted on foot in dense forest habitats, filling a unique ecological role absent of mammalian predators. It went extinct shortly after human arrival in Hawaii, likely due to habitat destruction and the introduction of invasive species such as rats, pigs, and cats, which decimated native bird populations and disrupted its food sources. The New Zealand swan was an extinct, 
larger relative of the Australian black swan, native to the Chatham Islands and South Island of New Zealand. DNA analysis confirmed it was a distinct species exhibiting island gigantism, weighing about 10 kilograms and showing signs of evolving towards flightlessness with shorter wings and longer legs. Its black plumage was likely similar to that of the Australian swan, though this cannot be confirmed from fossils. The species became extinct after Polynesian settlers arrived, with evidence showing hunting pressure from humans contributed to its disappearance. The Tenerife giant rat was a large rodent weighing around one kilogram and measuring over one meter, including its tail, making it the biggest rat species in the Canary Islands. Its skull measured up to seven centimeters in length, reflecting its robust size. Studies comparing it to modern arboreal rodents like the giant rat of Luzon show it had similarly developed claws on both front and hind limbs, with longer hind legs indicating an intermediate form between ground and tree-dwelling rats. This suggests it was strong, muscular, capable of climbing and digging, and adapted to various environments. The shell of the Bahaman tortoise was 47 centimeters in length. Fossils of the species were discovered in Sawmill Sink, a blue hole. Other sites where fossils have been found include cave systems and an inland deep blue sinkhole. It was the last surviving of the West Indian Chelonoidus, persisting up to 1170 years on the Abacos, just under a century prior to European colonization of the islands. Only two fossil specimens of Barbuda giant rice rat have been described, a left upper incisor and a damaged left mandible with second and third molars. The molars show typical rodent cusps with distinct V-shaped valleys, and the tooth row length is eight millimeters, indicating a relatively small size compared to related species. Based on dental similarities and geographic distribution, it is considered closely related to other Megalomys species from the Lesser Antilles. Atalaye nesophantes was a small, shrew-like mammal endemic to the Caribbean. It likely had a slender body with a pointed snout, adapted for an insectivorous diet, feeding on small invertebrates in the island's forest habitats. Its extinction is strongly linked to the arrival of humans and the introduction of invasive species such as rats and mongooses, which preyed on Nesophontes and disrupted their fragile ecosystem. The New Zealand Owlet Nightjar was the largest known species of Owlet Nightjar, weighing around 200 grams and exhibiting morphological traits suggesting limited or no flight ability, with strong legs adapted for climbing. This nocturnal bird inhabited diverse environments across New Zealand, nesting mainly in caves and foraging on the forest floor for insects. Its extinction likely occurred in the late 12th century, primarily due to predation by the invasive Pacific rat, introduced by Polynesian settlers. Unlike many other extinct species, there is little evidence that human hunting, habitat loss, or disease contributed to its decline as the species disappeared before widespread human settlement and significant environmental changes. The Owlet Nightjar's nocturnal habits and small size made it an unlikely target for hunting, reinforcing the conclusion that invasive species were the main cause of extinction.